All right, Mike is back full of the forecast. And in case you don't know this yet, allergy season has arrived. Oh, yeah. Um, it has taken my voice apparently every day at about 4.30, which is super convenient for me. But um, it, it's out there. I'm like, you know, I don't see, we don't see the yellow all over everybody's cars yet. I know that's coming too, but soon. My goodness, like all of a sudden, I mean, every day. So let's talk about things that would make that worse. A dry day. Great. A windy day. Oh, good, yeah. Uh, basically, the forecast for so, today. So basically where I live. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So get ready for, uh, you know, allergies to be an issue. Not only today, but tomorrow. We should get some relief with some of that rain next week. But, uh, you know, it's kind of a delicate balance because more rain just means that all of these plants are going to grow more quickly and just release more pollen into the air. It's allergy season. We've arrived. Uh, Portland's last frost on average, or last 32 degree day in the spring, is right around April 30th. Bangor's is May 9th. Caribou's is May 14th. So within the next three weeks, we're going to hit all three of these dates. Now the question is, will this year be a year where we end up with a late frost or not? Generally speaking, time is in our favor. Once we get past April 20th, we end up on the warm part of our temperature curve for the year and we stay there until October 26th. For example, today's normal high temperature would be 57 degrees. And by the time we reach May 1st in Portland, 60 degrees in Bangor, it's 61 degrees. And today we will be running right around normal, expecting high temperatures for most today uh, in the upper 50s, maybe some low 60s, especially across southwestern Maine. We've got this batch of showers moving in right now. Some heavier showers ongoing along Route 2, and this is all going to move toward Bethel and eventually hold together uh, until it gets to the Farmington area. We've also got some heavier showers a little bit farther south now, and we should see some development closer to Freiburg and Brownfield on the long 302. This big swirl right here is our upper level low, and once this all passes uh, off to the east, we actually end up with some flow that comes in from the northeast, which means that we will deal with some cooler conditions as we get into the second half of the weekend. But for the remainder of the day, I'm expecting these showers to be wrapped up for most by about eight or nine o'clock this morning. Some spots down east may see a lingering shower until 10. The exception here is going to be across the western mountains in northern Maine, where that northwest wind will help the mountains just squeeze out a little bit of extra precip. But other than that, I think most of us get to enjoy a dry, a dry and quiet day with wind gusts picking up out of the northwest as the day goes on too. Tomorrow looks like a very nice day, a lot of sunshine, expecting maybe a little bit of frost out there tomorrow morning. Uh, so don't be surprised if you wake up and it's just a little bit frosty to kick off your Saturday. Future wind gusts, talking about gusts between about 25 and 35 miles an hour today coming out of the northwest. Again, not enough for damage or anything like that, but certainly enough to feel it. Yesterday was kind of similar where it got a little gustier as we got through the morning, but we calmed down pretty nicely in the evening and overnight last night too. Now, the big story heading into the weekend though again is going to be what happens with these two systems. We've got a warm front that approaches on Sunday, but doesn't quite make it here. Low pressure to our east that reinforces wind out of the northeast that keeps cooler air locked in place on Sunday. Monday, that warm front tries to move through, but it's battling these northeast winds and does not win. Tuesday, we finally push it through, but it immediately gets followed up by this cold front and we bring some showers through and that's going to keep things a bit unsettled and cooler heading into the middle of the week. Seas today, three to five feet west northwest winds, 10 to 15 knots gusting to 25 knots. Seven day forecast inland calling for uh, conditions to be generally quiet as we get into the day tomorrow. Cloud increasing Sunday. I don't think the shower chance is quite as strong for Sunday as what I thought yesterday. Mostly cloudy Monday, but still looking pretty unsettled in that Tuesday through Thursday time frame. Lee, maybe with a little bit of luck, this means that we kind of get the gloomy conditions out during the work week, right? And then next Friday, Saturday, Sunday, things will trend sunnier and nicer. Yeah, we are still rocking some pretty solid weekends lately, so that is good. We'll yeah. And if so, you can make Sunday better, too. That's good. See if we can stay in that pattern. All right. Thanks, sir.